Hello. Hello. Am I speaking with Paul Milgram? <laughs> yes, you are. This is Adam Smith calling from Nobelprize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm. Well, congratulations on the award of the Prize in Economic Sciences, which has just been announced in Stockholm. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> may, may I ask how you received the news? Um, my doorbell rang, and Bob Wilson, who uh, was the co-winner, I understand, was uh, was knocking at my front door because uh, nobody was able to reach me. So uh, <laughs> I woke me up 20 minutes ago or so. I think that might be a first that one laureate comes knocking at the other laureate's door. Um, so are you, <laughs> do you live very close to each other then? Uh, pretty much right across the street from each other. What a lovely way to receive the news. <laughs> yes, he and his wife just walked over and rang the doorbell. And uh, I have a video doorbell, so I answered and it was him. Yeah, quite a way to be woken up. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. And now there's lots and lots of stuff coming in. So, well, you've already introduced the fact that it's you're amazingly close to Robert Wilson. You were his student. It must be extraordinary to um, to win with him. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it really is quite amazing. He was my PhD uh, dissertation advisor. The the um, I picked the topic mainly to you know of working on auctions for my PhD mostly to get him interested in being my advisor. He was the advisor everybody recommended you should have. So I said, okay, well, I'll, I'll try working on a problem of interest to him. And um, he got excited about it, and uh, here we are. <laughs> and lots has happened in between. And what is it about the two of you that makes you work so well together? What, what's the magic? <laughs> well, it's a really good question. I mean, I think we're both a little bit of, we're both nerds in a certain uh you know, uh, in a certain way, we, um, I don't really know what to say about, uh, about the magic between us. We, we, we haven't done that many joint projects. I think probably, you know, and I haven't seen what the foundation has cited, but I'm guessing. Well, it's so the, the, the citation is improvements to auction theory and inventions of new, of new auction formats. Uh, you know, I was not working on practical things at all in, in 1993 when uh, and Bob and I were both mostly interested in economic theory. And I remember um, the uh, there was a need for an auction for radio spectrum in the U.S. There's, there are no auctions for radio spectrum all over the world. And uh, Congress had just authorized it, and the uh, nobody knew how to do it. Um, because of the complexities involved in, in uh, that particular design. And, and when people called me, I thought, well, I don't know how to do it. That's, you know, <laughs> there's all kinds of practical details that I don't, I don't know anything about. And they asked me to look at the proposal that had been made. And I looked at it and said, well, I mean, that though the best way to do it, but I can do better than that. And I started talking with Bob, uh, people had no clue of how to, how to even approach it. And so, uh, and so we put together a, a, a practical design, which, you know, has subsequently been used around the world. And for so many other things, more than just radio frequencies. Um, people are terribly worried right at the moment about the economic effects of the pandemic. How does the work you've done together on auctions help policymakers improve individuals' economic stability these days? Yeah, I mean, the, the special challenges now are, are about you know, how to solve hard resource allocation problems and how to create markets that, that allocate goods efficiently. I mean, the biggest challenges today are not those. The biggest challenges today, of course, are the medical challenges of actually developing the, the way that we will address um, uh, the, the shortages that exist and taking care of displaced people that, that has resulted from the pandemic. Uh, so I wouldn't say that it, it is directly relevant to solving the biggest challenges, those biggest challenges, but there are other big challenges today, like environmental resources, uh, uh, that uh, allocating those well, where efficient market design can be valuable. You are, of course, intimately connected with the Nobel Prize already, because didn't you meet your wife at the Nobel Prize banquet? Yes, <laughs> yes, that's correct. In, uh, in 1996, I did. I guess soon enough, although not, not this year, unfortunately, you'll have the chance to be there again together. It's been lovely to speak to you and many, many congratulations. Thank you. Bye-bye.